Stan Gibalisco here to illustrate three different types of wire splices. The twist splice in two flavors and the Western Union splice. Uh, these illustrations are from an upcoming book uh, that should be published about this time next year. I will not disclose the title of the book right now, obviously. Uh, but it has to do with electronics and test laboratories and things like that. Here is an example of a twist splice with two wires of the same diameter. You bring the two wires with ends exposed about an inch. Uh, that is the insulation stripped off. You bring them close together and you simply wrap them around each other like that. That will produce a quick, temporary splice. And of course, you can solder it and make it a little more permanent. If the wires happen to differ in diameter, say you have here AWG number 14 and here AWG number 18 or 20, once again, you bring them together with the insulation stripped about an inch off of the ends and then you wrap the skinnier wire around the fatter one like that so that you end up with something like what you see at C here and again of course you can solder it by the way after you make any splice it's always a good idea to wrap electrical tape around it to keep it from shorting out to anything else. Now this is the best type of splice from the standpoint of mechanical strength. It's called the Western Union splice. I believe I made another video about this, possibly, uh, where I actually demonstrated the process itself. But all you do is you bring the two wires, ideally of the same diameter, say both AWG number 18, and also, by the way, this works a little better with stranded wire than it does with solid wire. You bring them together like that and you wrap them around each other like as shown at B and C. And finally, you tightly coil what the left hand wire over here on the right is coiled up. The right hand wire over here on the left is coiled up. Uh, before you start, you should strip about two inches of insulation off the end of each wire. And then you'll have this kind of a situation where it's all in a line. And then if you solder that and wrap it up real well with electrical tape, you'll have a pretty good splice that can withstand a fair amount of stress. If you have heavier wires, say AWG number 10, Maybe you'd want to strip off three inches of insulation from each wire and wrap them around and solder them very well with a soldering iron that has sufficient heat. Wrap it up with electrical tape. And you can use this in ham radio antennas, for example. Although I recommend, if you can possibly get away without any splices at all, that's the best bet for a ham radio antenna. So to reiterate, twist splice with two wires of the same diameter, twist splice with two wires of different diameter, and the Western Union splice with two wires that ideally should be the same diameter. Stan Gibalisco signing off for now. Until next time, so long.